Tell me his name again. Thanos. He's a plague, Tony. He invades planets. He takes what he wants. He wipes out half the population. He sent Loki. The attack on New York. That's him. This is it. What's up, YouTube and returning life gainers and my returning Patreon? Avengers Infinity War is quickly becoming the fastest movie to make the most money and also one of the most popular movies ever done. But that's not without criticism. There are some things that people did not like about this movie, regardless of its popularity on Rotten Tomatoes and other critics. We're going to discuss some of those in this video. And if you're just now finding my channel, please click the subscribe button. Also, click the notification bell so that you're down every time we drop a new video. Join me on Patreon. That's a way you can subscribe to this channel and give donations and help a brother out. And also follow me on the Stardust app, which is where I do movie reviews in 30 seconds, and you can do the same too. Let's jump into the video. Infinity Wars is still blazing the chart. Fastest movie to a billion dollars. Some of the highest ratings on Rotten Tomatoes, but it didn't come without criticism. And we're going to talk about some of the criticism that it has seen over the course of two weeks from the fans. And shouts out to my big homie Jesse White on Facebook. We've been Facebook friends for about seven, eight years. And I went through looking at all the top criticisms and his was the funniest and it kind of encompassed a lot of what I was seeing online. So let's talk about that. But first, me put on my plus seven glasses of the sexy as hell, because you know we working on skilling up this craft, bringing you all a better YouTube experience, something better to look at. And let's talk about this. So number one on the list, <laughs> Black Panther vaporized after his film did a billion dollars and so many Wakandans dying over some silly space war shit. <laughs> Good point. That damn vibranium didn't protect their ass from Thanos, did it? Nope. Number two, Vision being a sucker for love with Scarlet Witch. Yeah, they just threw that out of nowhere. That is straight from the comics though, but I mean, they just pulled that one right out of anywhere. Then just repeatedly getting his ass whipped and caught off guard throughout the entire movie. <laughs> they had to do something, you know, and they had to display just how powerful Thanos' minions were in regards to us knowing how powerful Vision was. So that's my explanation on that one. Number three, Robert Downey Jr. hogging a large majority of the screen time. I love Iron Man, but he was in way too many scenes. I think he had the second amount of scenes other than Thanos. And, and what can we say? I mean, he's the highest paid person on that roster over at the Marvel Studios. So of course his ass is gonna get the most amount of time. Even if it makes us mad, we want to see some of the other people, he's gonna get it. No stopping that one. Number four, and this is the one that probably hurt your children's feelings, so y'all should know what that means. The Hulk getting his ass thoroughly whipped by Thanos and then being too shook to Hulk out when his ass was needed the most. Even resorting to using Stark's Hulk Buster suit. <laughs> Yo, I seen kids in my movie theater over there crying, throwing up because their hero, the Hulk, had got their ass beat. Hell, I seen bodybuilders that was wearing Hulk shirts in there looking like they were raging out because the Hulk got his ass beat so bad. Not only did he get his butt beat, but he got slammed around the same way he slammed around Loki in the first Avengers. They had to let you guys know out the gate just how powerful Thanos was before he even got all the Infinity Stones. And that was their way of displaying that. But for you all that know the comics, you're familiar with World Breaker Hulk and how powerful World Breaker Hulk was, just be on the lookout from what I'm reading in the next one to coincide with this Avengers movie, the Hulk is gonna be bad as hell, almost World Breaker level strength and he's gonna get his get back, so don't worry. I, I, mean, it, I mean, don't sweat it. Number five, Captain America, the leader of the Avengers, literally being used as a supporting role in the film with no real presence or memorable lines. He always looked like he was just passing by, 
happy to be here. Well, damn. I mean, remind me of Eddie Murphy and Coming to America. We're happy to be here. I like the way they used Captain America in the movie. That scene where he caught the staff that um, Proxima Midnight threw at him, my movie theater erupted in claps. And I have seen the movie three times and every time they're going crazy over that particular scene. So I didn't really mind that, but this is one that I've seen a lot where the fans just like the hell with that. Number six, Spider-Man being vaporized. The saddest death in the movie. A lot of people complained about that, but not to be confused with, a lot of people complained about Baby Groot being vaporized. And what did Baby Groot say to Rocket? Basically, if you didn't see what happened with Baby Groot, he whispered something in Rocket ears, and basically what he said was, Dad. So if you come from that understanding, you're probably a little bit more sad about Baby Groot dying than Spider-Man. Nonetheless, Spider-Man was, uh, was, has been revamped as a character, uprising, and so that had people mad as well. I agree with that one. Number seven, Star-Lord being a stone-cold, over-emotional fool, giving Thanos the upper hand. Well, y'all knew somebody had to do it. And if there was going to be somebody to do it, it was going to be Star-Lord's punk ass. He was jealous in the movie of Thor's muscles, didn't want Gamora touching his arms, getting mad over the man crush that Batista had over Thor. So what do you expect from him? You know, I expected that. That didn't make me mad because I saw that coming. What else was going to happen? Number eight, Doctor Strange also being underused considering the power he had. Doctor Strange is gonna make a comeback in the next movie. I kind of felt like they was gonna underutilize his power in this movie, and I am a little mad about that because Doctor Strange is pretty powerful, very powerful character, and they did water him down in this movie, so I agree with that one. Number nine, Thanos henchmen. They seem totally whack and pointless despite actually being key characters in the comics. I always felt Thanos could have still single-handedly won without them. Well, duh. Thanos could kick everybody's ass with two stones. You know, two of them. And so the henchman was just there to take up some story time and to build narrative. You had to do that. You wanted to make the movie a little longer. You had to build that narrative and storyline. So I wasn't too mad about that, but what he's saying is absolutely right. It could have been done without them but they kind of were a complimentary piece. And plus it was good to see somebody that was more powerful than most of the Avengers and how would the Avengers respond to people that had more power than them. So I was cool with that. Last but not least, and this one had me mad too, Samuel L. Jackson making a short appearance at the movie end credits. So if you haven't seen the movie, stay for the credits. Not even being able to speak his trademark motherfucker before being vaporized. <laughs> yeah we missed out on all the master of cussing in this movie and i do like samuel l jackson as nick fury and i think he adds an element to these movies that we getting didn't get to see but he is going to be heavily starring in the captain marvel movie and he's going to be in the next avengers movie when they bring all the guys back that need to be brought back so let me know how you feel about this list of criticisms to Avengers Infinity War. Let me know what you didn't like that was missed on this list and we're gonna keep this thing going. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself that life game. Follow me on the Stardust app. That's where I do 30 second movie review clips. You download the app on Android or iOS absolutely free and you can throw up your own responses to these movies and videos as well. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you. <laughs>